The unbend feature will unbend any sheet metal wall as long as the wall being unbent is a ruled surface. You can see that the sidewalls and bends in this model appear to contain non-ruled surfaces because they curve or bend in more than one direction. When you start the unbend tool, Creo Parametric will attempt to automatically unbend and preview the display of every bend in the part. But in cases such as this, where the part contains non-ruled surfaces, you will not see a preview until those non-ruled surfaces have been removed. Open the Deformations tab and you'll see that there are four bends in the part that cannot be unbent because they contain non-ruled surfaces. Open the References tab and in the dashboard click Select References manually. This will toggle off the Select References Automatically option and populate the Bent Geometry Collector. You can remove Bent Geometry by right-clicking in the Collector and selecting Remove from the pop-up menu, or by pressing Control and reselecting Bent Geometry that is highlighted in green. As soon as the non-ruled geometry is removed, a preview of the remaining unbent geometry is displayed. Complete the Unbend feature. You'll have to use a different tool to unbend the remaining non-ruled surfaces of the model. The cross-section driven unbend tool will enable you to unbend walls that curve or bend in more than one direction. Start the cross-section driven unbend tool from the Unbend Types drop-down menu. Select this curve to be fixed during the unbend operation. When it comes time to define the curve that is normal to the shape that defines the cross-section, you'll have the option to either select or sketch it. Here, we're going to use the Select Curve option and select this edge to define the cross-section. The red arrow points to the side of the bend that will remain fixed when the wall is unbent. Because the cross-section curve we're working with here bows out and away from the model, it makes sense to expect the unbent wall to do the same. Click OK to see the resulting unbent geometry. Notice how the unbent wall follows the shape of the cross-section curve. Now let's unbend the other side, but this time, rather than selecting a cross-section curve, we'll sketch one. The curve will actually be a straight line sketched on this fixed surface and drawn between these two vertices. With a linear cross-section curve, the unbent wall should have a linear cross-section. Remember, the red arrow points towards the fixed side of the bend, so click OK, and then click OK again to see the unbent wall. Notice that this unbent wall has more of a linear shape to it. Creo Parametric has powerful tools that you can use to unbend the bent walls of your sheet metal parts, even if there are non-ruled surfaces present, and influence the resulting shape of that unbent geometry.